hello guys welcome to my channel today and thank you for joining me so today's video is going to be the last in the junket july for the tatty treasures facebook group um i've got this this was just some amazon 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 packaging that came so i'm going to make three bits of ephemera using this uh, envelope so let's just cut it open let's see what we can come up with got a rough idea of what I'm going to make she says if she can get into the packaging I haven't kept much packaging this week to be honest so we'll just have to make do with what we've got so I thought I can just use this and make some bits out of here rather than putting it in the bin Right, so I'm going to make a pocket, a tag and a little notebook thing. I might need that one, let's just put that off there in a minute. Right, let's just cut, let's just straighten the edges off a little bit. So that, we'll have this piece for our pocket. Oh, I've not cut it properly. Oh dear. That piece for our pocket. Let's just tidy it up for a tag. I don't know whether it might be a bit thick for a notebook, this, but we'll see. Cover. Um, in fact, I should be able to get the notebook and a tag out of this if I cut it properly. I only want a little notebook. No, it's not cutting very good, is it? I need to change the blade again. I'm sick of changing the blade in this thing. So we'll just use this for our tag. Or should we use this for the notebook? Uh, yeah, we'll use this for the notebook. Just straighten it up. Right. Right. Oh, that was hard work, wasn't it? Right. I'm going to cut it in half because I'm going to. Oh, I've not cut that properly. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to use some washi to stick it together. So that's going to be our notebook. This is going to be our pocket. it really 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 quick and easy pieces of ephemera today that's going to be our pocket and then we'll cut a tag out of here in fact i wanted a taller tag so let's let's use this up we might as well oh it's not cutting through it properly is it rubbish right so let's just cut it that way Oh dear me, making work for myself here, aren't I? What can you do with a cardboard envelope? <laughs> right, but have a nice tall tag. Let me just straighten it up now because it's not one bit straight. That's better. Let's try this side. just cut a little bit off I think that might just be a tad too tall to go in a pocket right let's get rid of all this rubbish There's still bits we could use there to make stuff out of isn't there really might as well make two pockets well we've got the two we've got the two pieces right so we'll start off with the pockets these are just some papers I've had on the side printed off um, so we're going to use these. I've got my other ones somewhere as well. Um, that's all the ephemera. Let, just let me grab the other. You know the papers I've been doing them in every week. Um, here it is. This eco botanic. Uh, no, it's not. These are some ones I've printed off just to have some 
And what's this one? Vintage Boho. What's that one? Yeah, I printed these off just for sort of for this reason really just making tags and bits and pieces with so we've got enough papers here to, to work with I think I'm going to use one of those for my tag so let's do these pockets first let's find one that we can use on the pockets I don't want to use the birds because I'll probably end up cutting the birds off and let's use that butterfly and let's use that one for the pocket so let's just pop the other bits over here like I said really really quick and easy pieces of ephemera today just to I didn't want to miss doing the last one the last week I've been quite busy this week I've got quite a bit of organizing to do before the weekend before my visitors arrive so I didn't want to leave this video I normally film it around Wednesday or Thursday but I'm early today, it's Monday the 26th of July I think it is, yeah so but we'll get it done today and then it's done, yeah it's been fun actually, yeah, I'll leave a link in my description to Tanya's Facebook group, it's a lovely Facebook group if you want to join, go over and have a look, everybody's really nice and kind and yeah supportive so it's a nice group, right? Let's put some glue on here then. So these are just going to be corner pockets. I'm going to do one each way. Yeah, I have enjoyed it actually. It's amazing what you can put together with a bit of cardboard and a few papers, isn't it? Okay. Right, so there we go, there's one little pocket, let's do this one. Um, I'll do a bit of embellishing on them. I will stitch around these probably, I think. Let's just put that down there, put that paper on there. does dry quick you've got to be really on the ball with it <laughs> you really have there we go that's better just put the lid on for a minute it dries up very quickly right let's cut around this then we'll make the bits first and then we'll embellish them or whether to just do a couple of journaling cards I think I might just do some journaling cards because I'm likely to use that more than than a notepad right so there's our pockets how easy was that let's do this tag I'm going to use one of them uh, one of these bird images on the tag Sure where use this kit is to be honest I don't know whether it's just different papers I've printed from different okay then guys sorry about that that was my phone ringing I had to answer it so um, I've tried to edit the video the best I could so let's just cut around this tag Oh, there we are, we've still got the bird on. Let's just make that pocket bit tag at this side as well. 
Okay, so there's our tag. We don't need them bits and pieces. Right, I think we're just going to go with two journal cards. In fact, um, we'll just do one journal card because I've got a bit of stuff there, haven't I? What's on this one? Will we get that bird on? We might do. Let's try. I will stitch around these and they'll just finish them off. Let's see if we can get that little bird on the corner there. I'm cutting his tail off. <laughs> right, put around. Right, I want to put some paper on the back of there or something. I'm going to keep that little piece. Right, we want to put some paper on the back of here, then they can be journaled on. So let's see what we've got. Where's my papers? Just, uh, that'll do, just a piece of coffee dye just to go on. It's all about trying to use your scraps and bits and pieces up this. Bits from around the house. to fit them both on. Okay, stick you down there. Right, let's cut around that one. Oh, it's warm guys, I've shut the window because there's quite a few people gardening and it's stifling in this room with the window shut. really is. <laughs> I'm not going to put a lot on this tag because I like the image at the top. I'm just going to put a little bit of collage at the bottom I think. And the same with this journaling card as well. Just put a few bits at the bottom. I'm going to put tabs on them both I think. Although I might use my new slot punch on the tag. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so we've got a tag, a journaling card, and two little pockets just made from that envelope. Right, where's my new punch? Let's use this. Let's put it in there. Oh, look at that. I made up with that. I'm going to put a tab on that one, so I want some, some of this card. Where's my tab punch? Oops, a hold of it, there we go. I think I'm just going to leave the craft card, I'm going to put some paper on but I've changed my mind, I think I'm just going to ink around it and just use it as, use it as a tab, just like that. Where's the other one gone? Right, let's glue this down then. Just checking them. I'm not turned off. Right, let's put that there. And put this one on the back. Oops. Right, okay, so there's that one then. We'll link around them in a minute. And I want something to go in here, don't I? Let's see if we've got a bit of ribbon. Is there any in my scrap box? I think this is all lace. Um, what's that? Let's have a bit of that. Okay, let's have a little bit of this scrap. This was one of the, you know, the blouse that I showed you that I hauled. I've just cut it open. Um, yeah, just cut all the lace off it, so... See if we can thread that through. I'm not sure whether it will go through here. Where's my pokey tool? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it does. So let's 
So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to get my stapler now. Where are you? There it is. I might have to put two staples in. Oh, there we go. Now it's stayed in. I'm just going to trim a little bit off the top of there. There we go. I'm going to put another little staple in this side just to keep it in. That's it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm not going to throw this little bit of lace away. I'm just going to put it in my scrap box. They come in handy, don't they? Right, let's do a little bit of inking then. Let's put these bits away that we're not using. Finish with that now. Okay, put my lid on there for a minute. Let's just do some inking around here. I'm going to stick with my gathered twigs. I think I'm going to round them corners if it'll work. No, it's not putting them, never mind. And the cardboard's too thick. Doesn't matter, we'll leave it. Did you round the back of there? I didn't, did I? Let's do these two little pockets. And this one. Right, okay, so we just want to do a little bit of embellishing, don't we? Let's do these two. <clears throat> I want that one that way. Let's do these bits of pockets first. Let's get some scraps of fabric out. Um, I'll have a little bit of this lace. Oh, them scissors are rubbish. Let's put, I'm just going to do a little bit of a sort of cluster in the bottom down there. We'll have a little piece of that. Um, No, we don't want that as well. Right, let's just pop that over there for a minute. Um, what else do I want to put on there? I know, let's get my collage bits out. Some of this. Let's put some of this down first. My throat's really dry. I won't put them right to the bottom because I want to stitch around them. Leave a bit of space. Okay. And then I want a little bit of this book page. to just cut it in half and have just a tiny piece on each one yeah I think that's what I'll do I think I've got too much on there let's pop that in there I'm just going to see if this this glue will will stick it down I think it will because it's only very very thin lace I'm 
that it grabs, it should be okay, I think. Okay, let's put a bit on here. Right, I'm going to put a butterfly on there. Uh, let's just see if I can grab a couple. What colour do we want? We've got two of the same. I'm just reaching at the side of me in my little pot of bits and pieces. Yeah, let's put that butterfly on there. That'll be nice, won't it? Yeah, just that little piece of lace is just enough, I think. You down there. And then I want some of my words that are um, that way, not, uh, what's it called? Horizontal. Where have I put them? Here they are. Let's just see what we've got. Let's just grab a few out. If we can fit one down here, wonder. Pretty blue shine. What else have we got? Kind. Right, let's have those two. Kind and shy. We'll leave them there. Just stick the. I love these because they go. Is it horizontal that way? Portrait, yeah, horizontal instead of vertical, the great. You can just fit them in like little places like there. I was going to put some lace down there, but I've changed my mind. I think I've got enough on there. I like the papers. I don't really want to cover the papers up, to be honest. Let's stick that one there. Okay, so there's our two little pockets made from the envelope. I'll just put them there for a minute. And then we've got these two. Now I think I'm going to do exactly the same. I think I'm going to keep them all matching. I think I'm just going to collage with a little bit of the lace, a bit of text. Uh, we want some green paper, don't we? I have to get some more of that out. Might have some. Might have that instead of the painter's paper on this one. Right. Yeah, it's great getting this used. I'm using up some scraps here, which is absolutely fantastic. So we don't want them too big, do we? We don't want to cover the bird up. Just put a little bit there. And a little bit there. Right, I'm going to put this down first. This is just... I don't even know what it is, it's just off a piece of pattern paper, but it's got some script on, so let's use that. Um, right, let's just put a bit of ink over this stuff. Over here. Where have you got? Yeah, we'll just keep them matching, I think. Okay, let's stick you down. Just made it there, just almost touching the robin's chest. Same with this one. Yeah, I'm trying to leave a space at the bottom so I can stitch around them. I think I've got black thread in my machine at the moment, so I might use that. That might look nice, mightn't it? Over the over these colours. Put that little bit of that. What have I done with the other little piece of book page? Have I just screwed it up? It's here. Oh, it's there. I thought I'd already inked one. Okay, you on there. Right, we want a little bit of lace again. Um, 
time should we go with this one or should we go with this let's use this one this time piece of that I don't throw any scraps of fabric away I always keep my fabric scraps I'm going to just use this three in one because this lace is a little bit thicker A glue string there we go right let's stick you on there I'm going to put a little bit of ink over that let's just move you away from the bird and the same on this one okay you can stick there let's just wipe this with something let's just use a bit of that scrap paper okay um, I better use that so I'm going to stick another butterfly on. I'm just going to see if I've got any little which ones have we got green they're too big aren't they too big oh, we've got another one like that have I got oh oh now but then we've got another spotty brown coloured one let's have a look you watch probably not got another one now I've got blue. I'll tell you what, we've got two of them. Let's put them two on the same and then we've got both matching. Okay. Just pop them back. Right, let's have a little bit of ink over these butterflies. Trying my best to remember to put my fabric scissors in front of me and not in my box at the side of me, you know, then I don't use them for paper because they get wrecked, don't they? So you start cutting paper with them. Okay, stick the little butterfly. Yeah, just that little bit of collage in the corner just finishes it off, doesn't it? See if we've got enough space to put another one of the words in on rather. What have we got? Let's have a look. And beautiful. That could go there. Um, and wonder would that fit wonderful? Leave. Let's put them on. Let's not think about it too much. Put them back where they belong. Let's just ink over these. Right, I've finished with that now. I can put that back. A little bit of ink. It's not too long, has it? How long? It's 31 minutes from start to finish. Not too bad, is it? Four little pieces of ephemera out of an envelope. in that three in one and then this one okay there's a little corner coming up there let's just put a bit of glue on where I've spotted it okay then guys so that is it that's my last ephemera for the Tatty Treasures Facebook group, the Junket July. I've enjoyed it, I really have enjoyed taking part in that. So let's have a look what we've made then. Just have to get this bit of glue off my finger, it's bugging me. So we've made two pockets, one to go each way. We've made a lovely tag and a little journaling card. So not too bad, is it out of an Amazon packaging? Let's zoom you in a little bit. Like I said, I will leave a link in my description to Tanya's Facebook group if you fancy going over and joining. As always guys, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when I upload any new videos. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.